Death and Nightingales is a three-part adaptation, um, three-hour-long drama series. Um, book was written by Eugene McCabe, and it's been adapted by Alan Cubitt, who is also directing it. It's sort of a, I sort of say like a dark drama, uh, centered around a, a sort of relatively dysfunctional family called the Winters of Billy Winters and, and Beth Winters being the main protagonist, uh, Beth particularly, and uh, basically on the eve of her 25th birthday, uh, lots of things have culminated to get her to a point where she wants to make a huge decision, and uh, or a couple of huge decisions, and uh, I play Liam Ward, who is a character who comes into her life a year before her 25th birthday, and sort of turns it upside down and uh, we sort of don't know a huge amount about him, he's quite mysterious and we have a sense that there's something lurking underneath that isn't very nice, <laughs> might be a little bit sinister, um, but he uh, changes the sort of dynamic of the whole, the whole story really. I'm beholden to you, miss. He is the most breathtaking creature I've ever laid eyes on. Why don't you like my father? Why don't you? You're kin. I spent a night with Liam Ward. Nothing. He could kill my father, take his gold. Killing's a small thing. Getting away with it. That's not easy. Working in Northern Ireland, I love working in anywhere in Ireland. And I, I just, the, the magic thing for me is the, the crew, it's the people. And, a lot of them I know already, so many of them did The Fall. And, uh, either all the seasons of The Fall or just came in and out of three, se three seasons. And uh, that just is a huge benefit if you're comfortable with the people that are around you on a set. If they, uh, you can have a laugh at them and you've got something personal with each one of them and you socialise together. And there's just, it's a, every crew, you, every job you do feels like a very odd family. Um, but it's nice if there's history there with them, and uh, they're a great bunch. I just, I, I, you know, I love people from this part of the world. Um, I think we're the best people in the world, to be honest. So it's nice to be sort of surrounded by them, and uh, and film here again. I, I, it's an excuse for me. I'm quite crap about coming home uh, unless I uh, have to work here, um, and I could count on one hand the, the amount of times I've been home in the last couple of years um, since we've finished series three of the fall so um it's it's been brilliant and you get to see parts of the country that i didn't really even know existed you know i mean we're at a quarry this is the second quarry i've been to in a week um i have filmed in another quarry there's a lot of quarries here um somewhere else but it's uh it's been lovely and the weather's been glorious the entire time so it's been very easy in that sense you know and uh I love the light here. I love that it stays light until you know eleven o'clock, and uh, it helps helps getting content done. It helps you to finish your days that there's so much light, and uh, it's just good for your soul. I think when there's so much light and good people about, I love it.